Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make some gorgeous fabric plant pot covers. You can make them really small for your tiny house plants, really big for your garden pots. Great for covering up those ugly plant pots that you tend to get your plants in. And great for covering plants if you want to give them as a gift. It's almost like a little gift bag. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. I'm Christine of Christine'sCrafts.com and this channel is dedicated to crafting on a budget. So just decide what pot you want to cover. You can see I'm going to do this house plant pot and just measure around the widest part of the pot. Now for me, that's the top, but what really matters here is that you measure around the widest part. Okay, so get a tape measure, wrap it round, just read it off. 41 centimeters. Now I'm doing this video in metric. Please note that underneath all the measurements I've got, I've written down underneath in Imperial as well. Measure the height of your pot, in my case 12 centimetres, and those are the dimensions that you're going to need. Now to know what to cut out of our fabric, we're going to do a little bit of maths, but don't worry. If you look underneath, I'll explain it all to you as well. I've measured the height at 12 centimetres and the circumference, which is the distance all the way around the pot, at 41. So I'm going to cut out a circle of 16 centimetres because I've allowed an extra 4 centimetres. And I'm going to cut out a rectangle of 45 centimetres by 17. So I've added 4 centimetres to the circumference for the length and I've added 5 centimetres to the height so that I can get a good height and some hem on the top. An easy way to cut out the circle for the base of your cover is to simply take your fabric, turn it over so you're on the wrong side and place your plant pot onto it with the widest part of it down and simply draw around it. Be warned, we're not going to cut it out on that line, but draw around it. Now, be careful you don't draw with something that's going to show onto the right side. So I've used a pencil. If you're using something really thick, like an old big curtain, you could use a marker pen. And then you're going to measure two centimetres out from the circle you've drawn. So just take a ruler, measure your two centimetres, mark it. Move around the circle a bit, do the same again and repeat that all the way around your circle. Now, if as you're working your way around, you realize your circle wasn't strong enough somewhere because pencil doesn't mark particularly well, then just pop the pot back on, mark the bit you need and mark that two centimeters there. The bigger the pot, the more times you're gonna to want to mark it. Once you're happy, simply join up all your marks to make a bigger circle. And this is the line you're going to cut along. So just join up those marks, get a nice big circle that you're sure you can follow. And then you're going to cut out your circle. And this will form the base of your plant pot cover. No need for any complicated maths. You simply draw around your pot and then measure two centimeters further out. And that's the base ready. So then you need to think about the sides of your plant pot cover and we're just going to cut a rectangle. So if you remember, I'm cutting it 17 centimetres wide. I'm not marking my fabric. You can do if you want, but I'm just placing the ruler on and keep moving it up so that I just cut a long strip 17 centimetres. When you think you've gone far enough, if you're doing it the same way as me, just measure the other way and check if you've gone far enough. So just place a tape measure on or a meter rule and check you've gone far enough. So I have, so I'm now going to accurately measure my 45 centimeters and cut the other way. Obviously, if you're using a cutting board and a rotary cutter, this will be nice and easy to measure out. You'll just be able to cut it straight using your measures on there. And that's it. That's all we need. We need a circle for the base and our rectangles for the side. We're basically making a little basket to put your plant pot into. So once you've got those two, it's time to start making it up. So the first thing you're going to do is take that rectangle and fold it in half with right sides together so that your two shorter sides meet up. And then you're going to either clip or pin them together and sew along using a two centimeter seam allowance. For some reason, I didn't film that, but you can see that's what I've done. 
the next thing you need to do is take the circle, fold it in half, and then fold it in half again. So you've split it into quarters. And then mark each of those folds. So what you're doing is splitting the outside of the circle into four. And this is purely to make it easier to attach to the sides of your plant pot cover. You can see I'm marking them with pins. You could mark them with a little pen mark. It's up to you. We're just marking them down so that we can see all four quarters. Once you've marked all four, you're going to turn your attention to the sides of your plant pot cover and we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to fold it in half, but remember you're folding in half to the seam you sewed, not to the edge of the fabric. So sew it, fold it to the seam that you sewed. And again, we're going to mark those four quarters. This time, one of them is the seam, so you won't need to mark that one. You'll clearly be able to see where your seam is, but you'll have three other marks. Make sure they're clear, or if they're pins, they're not going to drop out. And then you're going to get the right side of the circle to the right side of your sides of your plant pot. And then you're going to match up one of the marks on the side to one of the marks on the circle on the bottom. And then you're going to repeat that with all four. Match them up and pin them together. Approximately your two centimetres from the edge, but it doesn't matter. It's, it's not a precise science, but approximately two centimetres. So just repeat going round all four. And then you've done the bulk of the work of getting these two attached together. And you've done it evenly, so you will end up with a nice, tidy plant pot cover. And you won't have the problem of all the bulk at one side or big wrinkles appearing. Once you've got all four pinned in place, you're going to pin in between. In a small plant pot like this, that's a very simple task. It's pretty much just one pin in the middle. If you've got a larger plant pot, you may have to put several pins in between but you should still find it's, it's quite easy to get it to all pull together. You have a little bit of easing to do because obviously this is a curve, not a straight seam, and they're always a little bit trickier. So just ease them and get them all pinned. And then we're simply going to sew along that seam. If you're worried at all, at this point, you could always drop your pot into what you've pinned and check it fits but it should be absolutely fine. Let's take it over to the machine. Get yourself going. It doesn't matter where. Just pick a spot that you think is nice and easy to get a good start and sew around. You don't need to reverse when you start your seam because you're going to do a full circle and come back over it. So just set yourself off and work steadily. Take your time. You're going to have to keep easing it around. You're going to have to keep moving the bulk of the fabric from the sides just because it's a curve. So just take your time. You'll see I keep easing it. I keep pulling the bag to the side and I just keep making sure everything's lining up OK. Once you get right round to the other end, make sure you sew over your start and do a little reverse so that nothing comes undone. You'll notice I say that all the time with all the seams we do because it's really important. And that's it. You've got a little bag. Turn it the right way out. And then we're going to take a look by placing our pot in. And you'll see you've got a bag somewhat too tall, which is OK. It should be because we haven't made a nice tidy top on it yet. If, like me, you've got any threads that have poked through your seam, now is the time to just cut them off and tidy up. And then we're just going to check how much hem we've got. We know how much we should have, but it's just worth a little measure at this point and making sure everything is exactly as you thought it would be. If your seam at the bottom was a little bit bigger, 
or a little bit smaller than you expected it to be because you weren't quite as accurate as you should be you might just need to turn a slightly bigger or a slightly smaller hem so once you're happy with your measurements you're going to measure and then you're going to turn over the top of the basket to the inside I know I keep calling it a basket a bag a plant pot cover I can't quite decide what it ought to be called so I'm measuring up from the seam at the bottom now and I'm checking that I've got my 12 centimeters and then mark it this time I would definitely mark them with pins because we don't want any pencil marks showing when we've finished work your way all the way around again the bigger the pot the more times you're going to want to measure and then simply fold along the line that you marked and pin it in place now pin it very close to the fold okay just make sure your pins stay close to the fold just work your way around and everywhere you marked it you want to pin it in place it's worth taking a bit of time making sure you get a nice tidy edge on your seam so if you had it open at the bottom make sure it's open at the top which gets rid of some of the bulk as you work your way around you'll find it naturally lies flat which is nice then once you're happy with it just turn that raw edge in again so that you get a nice tidy edge you're making basically a double hem and then pin along that fold that you've just made so you'll see it's nice and tidy and that you've got no raw edges if you realize any of your pins weren't close enough to the fold just repin them before you try and do your second fold and again work your way all the way around bigger your pot the longer it'll take you can see on my small pot it's very quick once you're all the way around there's only one thing left to do check you're happy with it check it's the right height and then you're going to sew that final seam take it over to the machine and just start again we don't need to reverse because we're going to go all the way around and just keep making sure as you go that it's nice and tidy that your hem's the same size everywhere and that you're happy with it when you get round to where you started make sure you go over that starting bit and that you do a little reverse so that nothing can come undone and then that's it you finish your plant pot cover how quick and easy was that you can make loads of them they're great for gifts and they're great to put on outside pots they obviously won't last for years and years because the fabric will rot in the in the weather but they look great and if you've made them out of an old curtain they're free so thank you for watching i hope you enjoy making your plant pot covers please let me know in the comments below whether you make giant ones for trees outside or whether you make little tiny ones for gifts for your house plants so please give me a thumbs up if you've liked this video and subscribe to see all my videos in the future thanks for watching